Lately, I've been using pip tools for my independencies. Like I love poetry, but sometimes it does also a bit too much. So pip tools, I think I have it already installed globally with pipx. Uh, by the way, if you want to install dependencies that you use everywhere, check out pipx. You can see the video here. So if you do a pip install, pipx install pip tools, that should already be there. Um, you can also, of course, install it locally. So if I make a virtual environment and do a regular pip install, that should also work. And this tool comes with a pip compile script, right? So if I just check that, yeah, that's locally available in this virtual environment. So for example, say for this project, I want to install request and beautiful soup. Now I don't have to really know the versions per se. What I can do is make a requirements dot in file list the two dependencies without any pinning and let pip compile figure it out. So it auto generates a file. And the nice thing is that it also lists the fourth party dependencies. So um, if BS fourth third party dependencies it will also list the dependencies of the dependencies and where they're coming from. So beautiful sub four gets pulled in through BS four. Uh, there's also a couple of requirements that are pulled in from request, uh, like certify or IDNA, char set normalizer. Those those are dependencies uh, pulled in from request. And before I knew about pip tools, I would use uh, pip dep tree, for example, to um, to know what those relations were. Uh, so that's really nice, it's more informative. And now with that uh, requirements.txt file, I can um, install the requirements into my virtual environment. So that's it. This is pip tools. Uh, there's another video you can watch um, a bit more about starting a Python project that's uh, here. And again, this is an alternative uh, for poetry where you use a bunch of separate tools to manage dependencies and packaging. So again, I use virtual environment to create a virtual environment. I use pip compile to make a requirements.txt file from a requirements.in file. And then if you uh, want to do packaging, you can use hatchling or flit to do that as well. Um, but if you want the all-in solution, then uh, you might want to check out Poetry, which we also have a video on linked here. All right, hope that's helpful. And tomorrow we'll be back with a new video. Thanks for watching.